Hey boys and girls, here we are back again, and this is package four of four that I ended up getting from Amazon. If you check my other videos, you've actually found out that I returned one of the big microphones that I ended up having, and with the money that I had from it, I ended up picking up the four items that I've shown today to you. Super stoked to try all of them. This one was a hard one to decide on, especially since I have the Razer Chroma keyboard and the mouse pad and not getting a Razer Chroma mouse to go with it. I decided to go with the Logitech G502 mouse. Um, I've heard a lot of good reviews and one of the main reviews that I've heard on it is that it's a longer mouse. I have big hands. I can palm a basketball. That's important to me. This mouse, though it's not dead, has been a very good and I have had this probably, oh, I don't know, uh, eight, nine years. It's been a long time. Um, I'm not even sure why it's dated on here. This is a Razer Death Adder and this is back when uh, the 3500 DPI was the largest that they had and this has lasted through Battlefield Three, Battlefield 4, Battlefield Bad Company, um, a couple COD games, Titanfall. It's a great mouse, but I need a mouse with more buttons that I can switch over on the fly between gaming and also video editing. I plan on using this so I can set up the buttons for easy cut, easy edits, things like that, just to kind of streamline uh, some of the process on that. Right now, I am using, I believe, I don't know if it's called Horus or what it is. It's a China, China-made mouse. I'll show you guys this up in the detail. It's been a good mouse, but the controls on the side are a little far apart. Some of them are hard to get to, and the texture on it's great if you end up sweating a lot because it's almost like skateboard deck material. Let's jump down to the table. I'll show you what comes in the box and everything. We'll get hooked up. I'll let you know my initial thoughts all right boys and girls here we are with package three out of four this is going to be the logitech g proteus spectrum g502 and this is a rgb mouse which means you can cycle through the colors that are on it and it'll kind of keep theme i can figure out something i will probably just do my regular blue because that is my color taking a look at the back with it being RGB, you can get the same as the Chroma with the 16.8 million colors. You can choose any color that you want, which is really cool. You get 11 programmable buttons, customizable lighting from a palette of 16.8 million colors. Add up to five 3.6 gram weights for personalized mass and balance. You get some specs down here at the bottom. Now I did a lot of research when I was checking into getting a new mouse and you know, we'll end up seeing the Razer mouse has done very well for me. This little guy over here has done well for me. The only downside with it is it's not the texture. I actually really like the texture on it and I might end up doing a review on this and maybe giving it away to someone if they will want it. Um, I've only had it a couple months. It has a lot of programmable buttons on it. The only downside is it was just hard for me to get used to the way that these are configured on the sides. Now, real quick disclaimer, um, I'm not going to end up doing a full review on this. I will have to use it for a little bit. I actually still need to download the software on it, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick look. Um, some info that it has on the box resolution 200 to 12,000 DPI max acceleration at 40 G's max speed at 300 uh, IPS USB data format 16 bit axis report rate 1000 Hertz dynamic uh, coefficient of friction if you want that information um, let's see Durability right and left 20 million clicks and the middle button <laughs> durability of 250 kilometers pulling this off and then you get some usual usual suspect information that nobody ever really reads warranty and safety information you get the mouse itself let's pull this out all right first off taking a look at the cable here you do have a tag on here which lets you know at the back of the computer which cable goes to what 
Now, this is not as thick and durable as, say, a Razer cable, but at the same time, I actually like the texture of this because it is more pliable than a Razer cable. Those damn things are stiff as hell. You do get a little package here that has your weights in it, and this is not bad as is, but I will probably add the weights because I like a little more weight. Now, one thing I did end up hearing is this does have some issue with the center button. It has an infinite spin, though you can lock it. Now, a lot of people complained about the noise on it, and I actually don't have an issue with that. I've actually had louder mice. Very clicky. My understanding with it, instead of having this and then a plate and then the sensor underneath it, it actually has a direct contact with the sensor you get a you actually get a button here a button here one two three they actually have this automatically set up to lower your dpi if you are a sniper putting my hands over it i do have big hands and it actually feels very comfortable my fingers just barely barely hang over the ends. I can touch all of the buttons easily. All the buttons are programmable, but it's my understanding that this is to cycle through your modes. And then they have these set up for your DPI and there is actually LEDs in here, which will show that. I don't really care about that. I will set my DPI in the system and reconfigure these two different things because I am bad. And because I have big hands, sometimes playing games like Battlefield, it's hard for me to hit things like, you know, the crouch or the prone button, things like that. And I like being a gamer myself. I like having things set up like for my medic. I will actually set up kit one, kit two, something like that. That way it is easily accessible. This actually has three buttons, I believe, left, right, and then down. I don't know how that's going to end up affecting if you leave that on while you're doing stuff, but I've heard that this comes in really handy with spreadsheets. And if you're a fidgeter, like I am, <laughs> here's your new fidget toy. Taking a look underneath, this is where you're going to put your weights and they will just pop in one by one and it doesn't add that much weight to it. If you want a little more weight to say one side, you can configure it to do it that way. If you want more toward the center of mass, you actually have a lot of different options as far as placing these. I will play around and kind of find out what works best for me. In my other mouse, I actually have all of the weights in it and it's still a little light. That does help out though, as far as giving it a nice center of gravity and wait all right guys i hope you enjoyed that that was just a quick unboxing and a look at the g502 proteus spectrum from logitech again as usual link will be down in the strip description if you want to pick this up helps out the channel a little bit so i am going to plug this in we're going to give it a test maybe play some battlefield one tonight load up some videos start a new series let's play road to 100 and see how that ends up going i actually haven't ended up playing because I've been waiting to be able to pick up some stuff like this. And yes, expect me to fail miserably. As usual, YouTube, if you like what you see and you want to see more, click right up there to subscribe. Check out my last video right about there. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. And until the next video, peace out.